during my hiatus, I really learned a lot about self-care. I really learned a lot about how much we repress things we've been through, even people that haven't had that difficult of a childhood who really haven't even been through that much. I still think everybody is valid in the struggles that they've had in their childhood, yeah. regardless of if they measure up to other people who've had it worse. I don't like that. I don't like invalidating other people's struggles based on who has greater struggle. I think that everybody's struggles matter. I think that everybody's struggles should be dealt with differently, for sure. Like, somebody who's been, like, brutally beaten and raped definitely needs a different level of care than somebody whose mom preferred their other sibling, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, but both matter. Right. Um, and I really realized that I had a lot of repressed stuff and that we all do. And the more... I started looking at that the more I started really addressing that, um, saying goodbye to the parts of me that weren't really me, mm -hmm. that were birthed from an abusive childhood. Ironically, none of it had to do with <laughs> um, But just letting go of those, those parts of myself, the self-sacrificing, because I thought that's what I had to do to be liked and to be loved. Like the people pleasing. Yeah. That's people like, pleasing. That's something I struggle with. And I find like a lot of people struggle with, because yeah. you know, we're social creatures and we want people to like us. We want to fit in. Yeah. But yeah, we, we often, like you said, self-sacrifice in order to make other people happy. And it doesn't generally make people actually like us more. Yeah. I find in the end. I realized I wanted to redefine what love was to me. Mm -hmm. And to me, I don't think love is self-sacrifice anymore. Like a lot of times we measure if someone loves us by what they're willing to sacrifice for us. But what I realized was when I sacrifice for somebody, I go, now you sacrifice for me. Okay. I did that for you. Now you sacrifice for me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And it didn't work that way, I And assume. it doesn't work that way yeah. because, like, I just, I don't believe that if we love somebody, we want them to let go of anything that makes them happy. Yeah. God, that's such a great point. And I think that that's a lesson that is so hard for so many of us to learn because we always, I mean, I know that before I met my husband, I was so attracted to, like, people who I had to fix you know, like they'll be once I come in and I fix their problems, like then they'll be OK and they'll stop doing this thing or that thing. And it's like people are going to be who they're going to be. Yeah. And either you have to come in being able to accept whatever those things are or you have to move on. Yeah. Because we spend our lives trying to like change other people to like fit in with what we think works. And it just doesn't pan yeah. out. Yeah, and I just, I realized, like, I was never going to actually be able to love people like I believe love is. Mm -hmm. Where I believe love is like, hey, this may scare me and this may not serve me, but it, it makes you happy and I want you to do that. Mm -hmm. Love is not like, hey, can you comfort all my fears and make me feel safe? Love is like, I'm brave enough to love you through my fears. Yeah. I'm brave enough to confront my fears and to be able to love you better and love myself better. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean don't have boundaries, don't have like discerning, discernment. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to like what's right for you or what you want to really invest your time into. But at the end of the day, like I, I just, I realized a lot about love and I think that was really good for me to redefine because of my abusive childhood mm -hmm. is to just really redefine what love is, especially after being taught like I'm selfish and like I'm, you know, in childhood, all these like learned things like you're selfish um, because you, you need to like self-sacrifice more. And I always, that's always, 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 always felt wrong. I felt like you know, it's good to co-create and meet people. It's good to like meet in the middle and like create something that's happy for everybody. But I'm not going to kill myself for anyone or anything. And I realized like I had been doing that, killing myself for things and people out of a misbelief that I had about what love was. Right. Being told I was selfish because I wasn't doing that my whole childhood. So then I eventually, you know, 
decided I was just going to give everything I had and leave nothing for myself and sacrifice everything in the name of like, I love this job or I love this person. And, and I was like, that's not love. I don't think, I don't believe that's love. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.